So people, it is a depth HNIC battle rap and investor. Shout out to everybody on the Patreon where this stream is going to live after it's done. Uh, Patreon.com slash adept HNIC, man. You're helping fund a whole bunch of things when you subscribe. So I appreciate all the members. Um, shout out to all everybody in the chat. Shout out to all the heterosexuals. Actually, that was supposed to be first of all. Shout out to all the heterosexuals. Without us, there would be no them. Right. Without us, there would be no Chris on bias. Right. No ARP. Right. Right. ARP. I saw you did a little uh, video on Chris on bias's channel where you two are on some little brunch date. <laughs> Y'all on brunch like a, like like some like some middle aged white bitches. Right. And I don't know why you do this every time you roll out Max out, but we're going to talk about that later tonight in the in the, the later stream. But if y'all remember, he also went on like a date with Chris before the other Max out. Remember he took the walk in the park with Chris? They were doing a little interview that where they, they took a little stroll in the park together on some real intimate type shit. Well, now they're on the date, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that again. But anyway, that's for 630. Um, so I, I just got this paperwork, right? And I scrolled through it. Um, I've seen bits and pieces. And for y'all that don't know, we know Chris Unbias, his uh, case went on uh, to the appeals because he was trying to suppress uh, evidence regarding satellite data from his cell phone that puts him at the place of these rapes at the times of the rapes. Right? So I don't know what innocent man wants to suppress that 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 evidence. You would think that evidence should be able to help you, the satellite data from your phone, if you weren't there, right? But whatever. But his lawyers found some little loopholes, was able to file that motion to suppress that evidence, and the state is appealing it. Now, we've been waiting for this appeal to go through. I told y'all, didn't I tell y'all that this is going to take a little while? We're probably not going to get new information until around September. Well, I was well. I, I dragged it. They they gave it to us a little early. Christmas came early. Christmas came early. You see how God works, ARP. You see how God works. How 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 you could just go back on everything you claim to stand for, saying that when when Shannon came forward, you said you weren't going to work with Chris anymore. We're going to talk about that again later, nigga. All right. But now you just want to openly put out there that you fuck with Chris. He's going to be have VIP access at your event. You don't give a fuck about these women. But when the pressure was on Chris, when Shannon came forward, you publicly disconnected from Chris. You're a fucking sick. You're a bitch ass nigga. You're actually worse than Chris. Low key, ARP. You're actually worse. And we're going to get to that later on tonight. But you see how God works? How this is coming out now? Right after you drop that little interview where you're doing, you're on a date with the nigga. Oh man, we're gonna get to it though. Let's read this paperwork though. Let's read this paperwork. Let's fucking go. All right, all 105 pages. 105 pages. Hold on. Yes, HB. I got the info. I got the info. We live right now. HB, hit the link. Hit the link. Let's break this down. Let's get let's break this down if you got time. Right? Hold on, let me respond. He probably don't even see. I'm live right now. There you go. Okay. Cash app, uh, dollar sign, adept HNIC. Appreciate you, G. Thank you, man. Thank you. All going towards never forget too. Here, let me put this up and let's read this shit. All 105 pages, dog. All right. So let's get it. So Christopher B. Gunsby versus the state of Georgia, right? Same docket number, the same docket number we always pull up, right? Court of Appeals of Georgia. Exhibit transcripts held 11-30-2022, filed uh, August 18th, right? We know this from the official, official courts because it was stamped. Unlike the fake paperwork that Chris tried to show in his rapumentary, right? Unlike this fake paperwork that has all of these spelling errors and, and the fucking uh the count numbers are wrong, right? This was not this is not stamped. But this right here, this is stamped. This is from the courts. Anyway, state of Georgia versus Christopher Gunsby, criminal action, 
Proceedings heard before the Honorable Stacey K. Heydrich, Division VI Superior Court of DeKalb County, Georgia, on November 30th, 2022, commencing at the hour of 9 a.m., right? Appearances of, uh, of counsel for the state. Right. So here, here's the pictures of the, of the SUV, of the truck. Remember the truck? Remember the truck that he said it wasn't his? It was the DJ's truck? No, it was his truck. It was in his name. They have pictures of it. This was the truck. This is the truck that they impounded after the rape, the alleged rape of Carrie and Simmon and the attempted rape of Karen Hill the very next day. Not even 24 hours apart. Right? Look at the blood. Look at the blood. We're going to get to what that blood is, by the way. All right? Because one of these women were actually stabbed. When Chris Unbias threatened Shannon about he will fucking kill you if you make one move or you try to stop anything he's trying to do. That's not an empty threat. He has no problem taking acts of violence on these women. And one of these women were stabbed. And they recovered the blood. But let's continue. Which is why they're a key uh, 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 witness to the case. Chris, even though you said she's actually a witness for you. But no, this paperwork reveals you stabbed him. You stabbed her. HB here. HB, salute, G. Salute, salute. Salute, man. Salute. Justice for Shannon. Justice for all these women, man. Facts. I've been waiting. Really? I've been waiting for this to happen, man. And it, look, I, look at the perfect time it happened, too. Did you see Chris Unbiased dropped a, an interview with ARP where they're on a little brunch date? Yep. Yep, this is this is ARP Gunner, man. They two peas right. in a pod, man. I think, listen, man. ARP, any man that would that would associate himself with any nigga that has this type of shit on him, he's definitely okay with it. If not involved too, they might they might have some type of ring. I don't have no evidence of that though, but right. something something we've been knowing something been. I, I think been they're wrong. both Freemasons, so I mean. I think you're right in that sense. I, I believe they're a part of something, which means they have yeah. no empathy for this type of shit. They don't care about this shit. He, ARP don't care about those women. He publicly disconnected from Chris when Shannon came forward because of public backlash and public pressure. That's it. He don't give a fuck about yeah. Shannon. He was mad when he saw that video of Shannon. He was mad not yeah. at Chris. He was mad at, at her. Yeah, no, nah, they tried to blame Shannon for the shit, man. But I mean... It even even kind of goes back to to easy like this this a lot for some reason this community they don't really hold these niggas to any type of standard especially when it comes to violating women right they it's almost like they they put doing it like oh you beat up a woman you're good you rape a woman you're good but you know you you know you snitch or anything or you know do some goofy shit like yo-yo like you know now everybody rallies against that shit i don't know man this shit this shit is this shit is just it's fucked up man and look look how he had the truck set up with the blankets and everything oh, where did we man. hear that story before now nah, let's not say anything that'll come out later but it's funny how he has these blankets and all this shit set up in his truck already He's doing some other type of shit, dog. Now, peep this. Yeah. Exigent circumstance request form. Now, this is just a form. We don't, uh, this is just court stuff, right? Now, look, T-Mobile phone, phone numbers involved, right? So this was the number he was using, and we all know what he was using it for, for putting out those uh, ads on Craigslist as a cash taxi. Which is, he claimed that he was responding to an ad when he met Kiara. That's not true. Kiara was responding to his ad as a cash taxi. Because that's that was the whole scheme he was doing. Look, they say the person with his phone number is a suspect in two serial rapes this past Friday and Saturday. The analysis predicts that he will rape again tonight. Suspect using Craigslist to lure victims. The numbers called from the target reveals that the victims were in communication with suspects hours prior to the assault. And this is Chris. This is Chris unbiased. So he was the one posting these ads. Right? Now, 
the urgency of the situation. This is what when uh the the detective reached out to T Mobile in order to get his data, and this is the data that Chris is working to suppress, right? They say the urgency right. of the situation renders it unfeasible to obtain a search warrant or probable cause court order. I am requesting that T-Mobile provide the following records and or services. Please mark all that apply. They wanted the current subscriber information, the call detail records of the past 48 hours, and real-time location data that will ping his location. If it, it, Your cell phone is pinging your location every 15 minutes and logging it. And in those logs, that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. And that's what he's working to suppress because that's what puts him at the place and times of these attacks. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's that just shows kind of the how our justice system sometimes is it's not, you know, I feel like America, we definitely have the best justice system. But a lot of times when uh, these detectives get a little bit too, they, they, they get a little too overzealous, that stuff can be held against them. Even though in my eyes, that, that detective was just doing great detective work. You supposed to, you know, you supposed to be able to try to prevent more crimes from happening. But unfortunately, our system is kind of set up where want more crimes to happen. So that's, that's the only reason why this is even a, a option. Like, and it should just really show you that Chris is guilty. Why would you? Why would you even want to suppress this? This should. This should I, prove I, you I, innocent. Real quick, real quick. I wouldn't say we have the best justice system because our justice system is not perfect. Because there is the 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 factor of human bias that comes into play, right? But right, right. But logically, logically, how it's set up in a perfect world, our justice system, how it's set up, is is great. You're right about that. And if if we live yeah. in a perfect world, the logic. But I'm just. I'm just. I'm just comparing it to other countries. Like, oh, I mean, cool. in Mexico. Wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, facts. facts. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, that's all I'm saying. Shamar. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to Sharaf uh, Sharaf Shamar, man, for the 25 in the cash app. He said, stay blessed, King. Shout out to Nolan. Hold up, Nolan Brooks. He said, gay RP should be ashamed. No means no, Chris. Facts. No means no. Shout out to Mike. He said, owe you something for Summer Madness Sunday. Thanks, but if y'all know, y'all know. If y'all know, y'all know. Appreciate it, G. And then shout out to Nolan Brooks. He said, nasty work. Nasty work, bro. I agree. I agree. Back. This is crazy. And it gets worse, bro. We get so many. I only skimmed through it. The stuff that I was really reading was on page 50. I need to catch up with everything, though. Yeah. So, look, more people to the van. What is this? Is that a butcher knife, nigga? That look like hold on, that look like a cleaver from Dark Souls. What is this? Yeah, that's that um that uh Buffalo Bill van, man. That's the same one. That's is where this Chris a camera dangling from the ceiling. Yeah, he probably he probably has footage of all the rapes and he watches them. Probably has it on some some hard drive somewhere and he rewatches all the oh, all the rapes. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're we're gonna get to that, bro. Apparently, this nigga was was filming some stuff. He was filming some stuff, and we're gonna talk about all of that. So this again, more of the uh, pictures of the truck, right? They were able to recover, right? More pictures. Jesus Christ! Remember, we kept asking Chris, "Do you still have this truck? What happened to this truck, Chris? Did they give you back the truck?" No, it's yeah, that, that's that. Remember, he lied. He said that's the DJ's truck. Nah, that's your he truck. That's that. your your rape truck. That, let's not forget that because that's that's for six thirty when we pull up all the receipts from his rapeumentary where he was talking about this is the DJ's truck that he he didn't even was driving his truck. Well, that's a damn lie. It's a whole yeah. motherfucking lie. Curriculum, uh, uh, right? Formal education. Police science, bachelor of science. I think it's Katrina Evans. Katrina Evans, which is the detective that was on the case. Look, 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 look how look how dope. Oh no, my bad. Ross Martin Gardner. I don't know who this is. Is this like a um did they say anything? Is this the person? This is Katrina Evans. Location. Well, look, this is yeah, this is when they pinged his location. 
and they found the phone. They found where he was at. So they're pretty much showing the whole timeline of that. This was his van. More pictures, right? I don't know who this person is. I hope they get into that. This this uh, Ross Martin Gardner. But apparently he has all these credentials. He wrote a lot of books. And he's about to drop some wisdom on you niggas, I guess, man. Look, he's a special agent. Investigative support. Look, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga got. Look, he just, he just flexing his resume on you niggas. He just, <laughs> he just, I respect it. If I did all this shit, definitely, definitely, before I say anything, I need y'all niggas to know. <laughs> yeah, he's he's probably like um, studied like serial rapists for his whole whole life. That type of shit. He's probably one of them type of niggas. <laughs> They brought the experts in for Chris. Like he's trying to he's trying to piece it together. Like all these women are Capricorns, and this nigga is a Zodiac. I think he's trying to piece. To... <laughs> hey, all the women attack. They come from this background. They're all Capricorns. <laughs> or he's like he's the one that figured out who the Zodiac yeah. killer. He's the one that was following the Zodiac killer. All of that. Shit. Damn, look at that. He just flexed it. He's still flexed on you. Dude. Look, look at everything he did. And he's telling you there's no reason that this uh, C, uh, cell phone data should be suppressed. This nigga is sick. Chris Unbiased is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a sickness to society. He's a cancer. He needs to be taken out of here, man. Yo, you know what's crazy, HB? Somebody, yeah. somebody hit me up on my email, and they showed that ever since Chris was locked up for Kiera in 2017, in his local area... The 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 number of the reported rapes went down. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. I, I I honestly 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 I believe he's he's um he is a serial rapist and I truly believe that he's probably killed some women too. Like not me even too. trying to I be really funny kids and stuff. No, me neither. Yeah, with the yeah, like not not even. I think he's gotten rid of a couple of couple of these women, like because he knows Remember, he knows he's he sick. Up. He knows he's sick. No. HB, the only yeah. girl we know that didn't escape the situation from jumping out of the moving vehicle was Shen, and that was in 2015, right? That was a yeah. long time ago. And but but these women we're hearing about, uh, Karen and Kiara, they jumped out of the vehicle to escape, and that's the only reason they got out. Yeah, but where was he driving them? Where yeah. was he gonna yeah. take them? Yeah, and you know what's crazy, yo. I I I don't want to spoil shit, but we're well, let's spoil it, bro. In this paperwork, remember how he said he drove Kiara home? Yeah, to that house, to that area type shit, and that's how she got out, nigga. No, that's not her house. That's a that's an empty house. That's a vacant house in the woods, in pitch blackness. Oh my god. In pitch blackness, he took her, he bro. Took her, he took her to a cabin in the woods. That type of a shit. Cabin in the woods. The last house on the left. Oh my god! I spit on your oh. grave, type of shit. Oh my god! This nigga Chris was really dragging them to hell, man. He was really dragging women to hell. For That's real, a fact, for real. Part. I think that uh, uh, if if I if I remember correctly, when I was looking at these pictures too. They showed the, the address of the vacant house. It was 7, 7358. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 8 is 23. That's two times, two plus two times three is six. So it's all some satanic numerology type of shit this nigga was doing, dog. Yeah. He was bringing these bitches to a random house in the woods on some pan type behavior. A vacant, a vacant house. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that though. It all comes. It all comes to play. This nigga's flexing his resume hard. It's just like twenty five pages. Look at that. And so now we get into the certifications. <laughs> all right. So, DeKalb County Police Department Criminal Investigation Division Court Supplemental Report: Rape, False Imprisonment, Battery, Visible Harm, Robbery. Right. This is all the stuff that was happening. Seventy three eighty five Asbury Drive. Right, seventy three eight five two twenty three. Right, oh six, all that on the public road in front of driveway of vacant dwelling. This is where the wow. rape took place, and this is where she also was able to get out of the car. This area, this location, he brought him to a random wow. cabin in the woods, dog. Remember when he was describing the rapey memory? Yeah, I brought it to Shorty's house, and it was like pitch black. 
That's why I didn't see her when she when she grabbed the door handle and then I started driving and that's how she got her injuries. Remember, that's what he said in the rapey memory. It was pitch black out there. It was in the middle of the woods. Yeah. This nigga Chris so is not, sick. He's yo, low bro. key. Chris is probably he's probably like nocturnal. That's this is probably how he gets away with all of this stuff, man. <laughs> like he He doesn't even need to. He doesn't even need light to rape, man. He does it in the complete darkness, man. He's like uh, that uh, that movie with Vin Diesel, man. <laughs> that nigga's like a fucking, he's a different type of character, man. That nigga could, could literally see in the dark. He's a demon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, what's that movie with Vin Diesel where he, he can see in the dark? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forget. I forgot that movie. What's that, what's that Pitch movie Black. name, man? Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Yeah, he got yeah, the. Yeah. He got. He got. Look, it yeah, says, it says Chris he got perfectly the... altered eyes that allow him to see in the dark. <laughs> 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 because of immense pain in the light. <laughs> yo, yo, I swear that's Chris, man. That's how he's able to get away with all of this shit, man. This is nasty work. This nigga Chris is sick, man. Yeah, Riddick. That nigga is like Riddick, man. Oh, my the God. The into the state of Georgia versus Christopher Gunsby was charged with rape in violation of OCGA, false imprisonment, robbery, battery, visible harm, in violation, revealed the following facts and events. So these are all facts that are being stated in this document right here. On... June 17, 2017, DeKalb County uniform officers responded to DeKalb Medical Hospital in reference to a rape. Special Victims Unit was contacted and I responded to DeKalb Medical and met with Kiara Simeon. The statement was recorded and we're going to get to that. All of these interviews are recorded with these victims and that's going to come out soon too. That's coming out. Of course, so we're going to actually hear these, uh, these women testify, like, like, like give their own testimony as to what happened when they're talking to the police. We're going to have all of that. Along with the witnesses, wow. we're going to get to those too. Uh, according to the victim, she was referred to the cash taxi suspect for a ride because he identified himself on Craigslist as a driver who accepted cash payment. She advised that she received the number from a friend who used the driver one time in the past. The victim advised that she called Chris's number and spoke with a male who identified himself as Dra. So he, hold up, he was giving fake names. Yeah. He was giving big names, right? That goes along with remember we and, and the, when the police found his disguise. Remember with the hair dye, yeah, and all that other. Yeah. Thing? I, he he really wore a whole disguise. He did the whole Joe Budden beard and all that shit, and called himself Dra. <laughs> Dra what? Dra, Dra, D D is D R A. D R A like Draco Dragon. Dra, dragon. That, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yo, right. Like dragon. Yo, this I'm shit is getting demonic, man. man. Yeah. Yo, what Who the agreed fuck, to pick fuck, the man. victim up at her house located in 636 Kalenry Circle. This story's just spooky as shit. This story's spooky as shit. The suspect sent by text a picture of himself prior to arriving to the victim's home. When the driver arrived, the victim advised she was standing outside of her home. The two spoke over the phone as she directed him to her front door. The victim entered the front passenger seat of the vehicle, a black SUV, unknown tag at that time. It was unknown at that time. The male drove eastbound on uh, Kilkenny Circle, making two right turn out of the subdivision onto Asbury Drive. The victim stated the black male described as 5'10", stocky build, wearing gray jogging pants, a white t-shirt, gray and white tennis shoes, suddenly pulled over to the wrong side of the road and stopped the vehicle in front of a private drive. The address later identified as 7385 Asbury Avenue, right? The vacant house, not her house, the vacant house, the empty house, the adept fun house type of shit. <laughs> well, we threw the party type of shit. Is this that same house? Nah, it's not. But some type of shit like that. <laughs> the victim stated the suspect moved to the passenger side of the vehicle and began pulling her dress up and her panties down. She stated he was too strong as she tried to fight him off. 
He got on top of her and forced his penis into her vagina. When the assault stopped, oh the suspect placed the vehicle in drive and began to speed away. He did this raw. He did this raw. Wow. Yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know he was killer afterwards. Look, State Sales says he like, must have knew it was vacant. I don't think that's the first time he took a victim to that house. Yeah, he probably has. He probably has like 10, 12 vacant houses. They need to honestly be checking all of these vacant houses in that in that area because there's right. probably bodies in these vacant houses, man. There's some type of DNA. There's something that, that they need to really look into. A lot of those vacant houses in that area type of shit. Facts. Facts. Yeah. So the victims. And see who owns these there. houses too. I want to know who owns them. Probably his mother. Probably Emery Hospital. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's, yeah. These Facts. Are, probably Emory Hospital. Man. Or maybe even, maybe, maybe even ARP. He's, uh, these vacant right. houses, man. Own the land. Right, right. Shout out to him. The, uh, uh, he said, "Appreciate all you do. Keep strong, man. Appreciate it, Jay. Thank you." So, like, he, so he went into her raw, and he said, "When the assault stopped, the suspect placed the vehicle in drive and began to speed away." The victim stated she opened the passenger door and attempted to get out of the vehicle. The suspect picked up speed. The victim held onto the door, and when the suspect did not stop the vehicle, the victim fell from the moving vehicle. So she jumped out of the vehicle. She sustained injuries wow. to her shoulders, back, and legs from the fall. Photographs were taken of her physical injuries. We're going to get those pictures soon. Her cell phone identification, along with a Walmart card valued at $50, was still in the vehicle. She stated she lost one of her shoes, a black and pink Nike slipper. As she ran back toward her home, a neighbor observed her injuries, and after telling the neighbor what had happened, they immediately drove the victim to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, the victim saw the suspect's black SUV parked on the curb of Deshaun Road. She pointed, that's him, and the neighbor turned around to get a better look. The victim said they pulled directly behind the black SUV, and she wrote down the partial tag RCD55 on a piece of paper. She said she could see the driver sitting inside the vehicle. Because she and the neighbor was afraid of their safety, she continued to the hospital and called 911. So there was that, that's another witness right there. The, the neighbor, the neighbor that helped Kiara direct, immediately after the attack. Another witness that actually they have that interview as well. We're going to see the, the little DVDs they got of all the interviews. They have pictures of all of it. A sexual assault kit was later collected and submitted to the Georgia Borough of Investigation for testing. When the victim was released from Decal Medical Center later this same date, she showed me exactly where the vehicle stopped and the assault, assault occurred. While conducting a check along the driveway of the incident location to conduct the check of the area of the assault, I spotted a black and pink Nike slipper about 100 feet, 100 feet up the driveway of the vacant house with the address listed on a tree in front of the home at 7385. So, again, this was a vacant house. And look, that's how spooky. The next day, they just found her slipper, bro. Like a horror movie. Wow. Wow. I bet look for it, too. He couldn't find it. Oh, man. Well, it was pitch black, remember? So he was probably, yeah. that's why the neighbor and them was able to see him still in the car because he was probably looking for that slip. He didn't want to see, he's probably just checking if there was still any yeah. evidence left on the slip. Yeah, no, the Who neighbors knows? probably were watching. The neighbors were probably watching to make sure to see if he came back or something. This nigga, Chris, I don't even think Chris sleeps, man. I think he, he just, he doesn't.